She says this as a deterrent, warning you against the dangers of peer pressure. It's sound advice given by parents to kids for centuries, I'm sure. But if my mother asked me this question, and I know she has, I would simply respond, yes, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, a bunch of parents in the audience just got very uncomfortable. They're like, did this kid just tell my students to jump off bridges? And they're not wrong, but hear me out, I've got some logic to this. Everywhere I go, it seems like people are preaching the importance of playing it safe. Go to college, get a solid job, raise a family, and then die. They say that's the right approach. Don't want to mess that up, especially in this economy. It's much easier to play it safe. It makes much more sense. You'll be going with the flow, a path of least resistance. Except there's nothing safe about this path. Nothing is assured. No matter what route you take in life, you're going to jump off bridges. Every decision you make is an uncertain one. The plans you've made can disappear in an instant, torn away by a simple accident or a global pandemic. One day you'll realize that staying on the bridge was no safer than jumping off. The day you decide to go get the easy degree instead of following your dream, or you decide to keep your dead-end job instead of starting your own business, or you give up painting because you don't have enough time anymore, you are standing at the edge of the bridge with every other person who also gave up their passions for the easy route. But I'd like to compel you to jump off the bridge, to make that decision and follow the uncertainty. I have done improvisational comedy all four years of my high school career, and there is nothing that better represents jumping off a bridge than improv. In improv, they're just given a random prompt and a few minutes to make a story out of it. It is terrifying. There's no script, no director, no safety net. It's completely do or die. Now, improv's very intimidating, and I always have people coming up to me after shows and they say, oh, I, I can never do that, it seems too hard. And while improv is hard, I know that anyone is capable of doing it. In improv, we have one rule above all. It's called yes and. When one of your fellow improvisers says something, you confirm and add to it. If someone says, this is such a romantic dinner, you should say something like, yes, and I'm so glad your mother isn't here with us this time. <laughs> They're always supposed to add something to the story, even if it's not perfect, and it's often not. I've done plenty of sketches that didn't get a single laugh. But at the end of the sketch, feeling the shame of being unwanted, you look at your teammates and feel glad that you're not feeling that shame alone. Every decision you make in life is a risk. You're always stepping on a stage and making stuff up. That's life. But you don't have to be afraid. Instead, you can simply say, yes, and. Make the story your own, adding something and supporting the reality you want to make. I'm not saying that's easy. It's the hardest thing you'll ever do. But at least you did it. You didn't have to do it alone. Stand by the people you trust and ask them to stand by you. It makes the highs higher and the lows less low. It's hard to decide your own, to go your own way. You'll be called crazy by the people around you, mocked by jealous people who never took the risks themselves. But that's the thing about hard decisions. They're hard. If they weren't, and they wouldn't be so rewarded. You're going to jump off a lot of bridges in your life. Big bridges, little bridges, bridges where you can't see the bottom. Even when you think you're standing on solid ground, you're really on one big collapsing bridge. So I urge you to have the courage to jump off the bridge you want to jump off. Take that risk, because you know that even safety is uncertain. Over the last year, I've learned that the safest route even the things I thought were sure aren't. You can't control the outcome. You can't predict the future. But you can control your process. How you show up and take your risks every day. Will you stand at the edge of the bridge or take the jump? Class of 2021. These past few years taught us that our expectations can be changed in a moment. When someone looks at you and says, do you jump off that bridge? Look at your friends and smile saying, yes, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>